This question comes from the inscribed shapes worksheet. A student wanted me to go over number seven. Let's take a look at that. Now on number seven, these notes you already see are based on guidance that I gave you prior to working on the worksheet. So I'm not sure whether the students who had this question looked at the guidance video or not. But let's take a look at number seven. When a triangle inscribed in a circle has a side which is a diameter, so a side which is a diameter, then it must be a right triangle. So we learn this in our flip book and on this question. If RT is a diameter and it goes through the center of the circle, and that's a chord that goes through the center, then class, that means that this angle S, which touches the circle at T and R, has an inscribed arc, I'm sorry, an intercepted arc of 180 degrees. And we know the properties of inscribed angles are, if we know the intercepted arc is 180, then we divide that by 2 to get 90 degrees. So there is how we know that angle S is 90 degrees. Then how do we know the me measure of angle R? Well, think about it. You know the triangle sum theorem. We know that these three angles must add up to 180. And that means that if we know that angle S is 90, and we know that angle T is 45, then we can put that on your calculator, and we find out that the measure of angle R is 45 degrees. So now we know the third angle of the triangle. And the last question is, what is the measure of arc SR? So the measure of arc SR. So take a look at this. If we don't look at arc SR, that is the, is the, um, the arc that's cut out of the circle from inscribed angle STR. This is the intercepted arc of angle STR. So if angle T is 45 degrees, I'll put that in a different color. If angle T is 45 degrees, then we know we're going to multiply that by 2 to find the measure of the intercepted arc, which will now be 90 degrees. So this arc SR must be 90 degrees by the rules of inscribed angles. And the last question is, hey, do we have enough information to um, find the diameter of circle A? Do we know what the length of TR is now? And the answer is yes. There's actually uh, a few ways that we could figure this out. One, I know this is a 45-45-90 triangle, and that means if SR is 7 centimeters, then I know that ST is centimeters. There's one way. A second way is, well, I can use trigonometry. I know that this side is 7 centimeters, and I have a reference angle of 45 degrees. So I can use, let's see, I know opposite, and I want to know hypotenuse. I could use sine to find this. And the last thing I can use is the rules of special triangles. This is a 45-45-90 triangle. That means if this leg is 7 centimeters, then this leg is 7 centimeters, and then this hypotenuse is 7 times the square root of 2. So think about all the ways you can figure this out. You could figure this out by saying, let's see, let's put a couple of these in color. I could use Pythagorean theorem. 7 squared plus 7 squared equals c squared, or my hypotenuse. I could solve for c and I can find the length of that hypotenuse. There's one way. Here's a second way. I can use Socotella. If that's my reference angle, 45 degrees, I know opposite. I want to know hypotenuse. So that means sine of 45 degrees is equal to 7 over x, and x is going to be my hypotenuse. So there's my second way. And then my third way is I can use the properties of special triangles. If the leg is 7, then the hypotenuse is 7 times the square root of 2 on a 45-45-90 triangle, and that means my hypotenuse is 7 times the square root of 2. Let's go ahead and figure that one out right now just for fun to show that this is true. 
Let's see if I can get this calculator to move over here. So here we go. 7 times the square root of 2. There's my first answer. 9.899, so 9.9. .9. Let's put that 9.9 .9 centimeters. Let's try sine of 45 equals 7 over x. Remember, in this situation, we flip the x and the sine of 45. They, they move places, so x is equal to 7 divided by the sine of 45. Let's figure that out. 7 divided by the sine of 45 equals, and you get the exact same answer. And if you use Pythagorean theorem, 49 plus 49 equals c squared. So 49 plus 49 is 98 equals c squared. That means c is the square root of 98. So let's try that, the square root of 98. And you get the exact same answer. So just showing you, you've got a lot of tools at your disposal to figure out this diameter. You can use any of these three methods to find that the estimated length of the of the diameter is 9.9 .9 centimeters